The Synology DS223J, it's a really really cheap NAS from Synology and most of the people that they buy Synology they buy it for two different things or especially NAS. They buy it to back up their data and to make a media server like using Flex for example. Now if you go on YouTube most of the people they will tell you right that you won't be able to watch Flex or you will be you will have problems and stuff like this. Well what if I told you that you can actually watch Flex in 4K using this device. So stay tuned. So how you can see now I'm running Plex on my TV. Now I don't know if you'll be able to see it, so I'll just zoom over here that you can see this movie. It's in 4K HDR. This is an anime. And if I click play. you will be able to see that the movie is running perfectly. Now, this is running because Plex is literally running on direct play. So what direct play is, that means Plex is, does, doesn't do any transcoding because I have a 4K TV, I'm using Google TV on it. And uh, because it's literally just playing the movie, doesn't do nothing, that means that you can watch in your own network, you can watch 4K movies. Now, how you can see here on my computer, I have two movies that are running right now. It's Suzume, which is the one that we're watching right now. So this one is in 4K uh, HDR10. And I have another movie that's running, it's a 720p, uh, which is Mommy's that my daughter is watching in the different room. And uh, this uh, Synology can run both of them with no problem. So if I'm going here to my Synology, how you can see I have the DS223J. And then if I close to see my processor, Literally, my processor has no problem running this one because it's doing everything in direct play. So this is what I was saying. So if you look here, on both of them it says direct play. That means that this movie that my daughter is watching, it's a 720p in original quality. And then the other one, the 4K one, it's original quality. So all it does is just simply playing the movie. That's it. So you don't need any transcoding if you want to watch a movie in your own house on a big TV. So for example, there's another reason that uh, Plex are saying that they were having problems because if you enable a subtitle, then that will mean that Transcody will go on. Well, I just enabled the subtitle right now. And how you can see on my PC, I don't have any problems. Uh, if I'm going back to Synology right now, again, my Synology has no problem running the device in 4K. So if you guys want a DS223J, for 4K movies in your own house, this is perfect. You don't need a more expensive one unless you're transcoding. So what transcoding means, most of the time we will transcode when you're outside of the house. So if you're watching a movie on your iPhone, for example, in the train or stuff like that, that, that will need to be transcoded. So yes, then you'll have problems. But other than that, watching it in your own house, you don't have any problems watching a 4K movie. So yeah, I hope this helped a lot of people because I really have a big problem when I was trying to search for a cheap NAS. A lot of people were saying that Plex, I will have problems with it and it won't work. This is not true. As long as you're using it in your own house and no transcoding, that's fine. The movie will run perfectly. So yeah, I hope you guys like it and I'll see you guys next one.